Hey, so since the last time we did an unboxing here on the uh, lift, it did pretty well. So we're going to do another one. Guys, I had another smart helmet company reach out to me and want us to do a review on their product. Now, I was a little hesitant because... The last time I did a review of a smart helmet, I still to this day get people asking me questions as if I am part of the company. We won't talk about the company that I did the review on of that helmet, but I digress. Uh, so I'm a little hesitant in the smart helmet space. Now, don't get me wrong. I love technology. I want smart helmets, but so far, we haven't seen a really reliable, cool company bring up a smart helmet to the market, but that could change today. Let's get to the unboxing of... Oh wait, we've got sound effects in post. There you go. The Cross Helmet. So I've been seeing this thing on videos on YouTube for the last few years, and I actually reached out to these people years ago. Never got a response, which is totally fine. A few weeks ago, these guys reached out and asked if I would be interested in doing an unboxing. These guys, very similar. It's got a, it's a helmet with a rear view camera, a heads up display, really cool looking stuff. I'm excited to get it unboxed. So um, let's do this thing. We've got some information here. Uh, rear view camera, sound, sound control. Okay, heads up display, very excited about that. A safety light a touch panel and connectivity. Very interesting stuff. I don't know how to get this opened. Uh, oh, does it pull forward? How do? Oh, that, yep. That'll stop you from unboxing it for sure. All right, this is DOT, not ECE, not JIS. No idea what that is. Whoa! Ho, ho, ho! Bo. Bro, look at this. It's like a damn garage door. Can you make cool sound effects in post? So it sounds like a garage That is a pretty cool unboxing. Am I right? So from y'all's perspective, look, you unbox it and you look. That might be one of the coolest uh, openings that I've seen before. Okay, so we have a two-year warranty, anti-scratch, anti-fog visor. Cool, need that. Helmet here. We'll definitely need the user guide. We are in the owner's club now. Can you guys see from that camera? Owner's club. I don't know what that means, but hey, we're here. I don't know if the accessories have been intentionally left out. I may be dumb. Maybe they're inside the helmet. I don't know. We'll find out. Okay. So that's the cool box. Lo we love that. We'll just do it here for promotional sake. Here we go. Very wide feeling helmet. Wait, where's my Cardo helmet thing? I didn't intend for this video to be sponsored by Cardo, but there you go. All right. Uh, that way we don't scratch the helmet. Why do people make these dumb proof for people like me? There we go. Okay. Oh, we got the silver one. Okay, I'm here for this. Bro. D-O-T. We got the clear visor up front. Oh, holy cow. Dude. How, n what? So everything is held with Velcro? This seems like a massive helmet. So how do you make it go up? I should probably read. We got power down here which is cool i like that the power is integrated into the actual helmet uh that's been an issue before so now i just need to figure out how to make how make go up 
Oh, you just have it here on the side. Okay, so I guess you just have to touch the visor. Try on test. Also, for you guys watching, yes, I do have a mullet. Enjoy it while it lasts. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Bro, where is my plane? Dude, I don't know how I feel about this. So like, I will say, I feel like it's a little big for me. And I got the M3, which is medium three. I would prefer this to be like an M2 or M1, cause this should not happen. They built this so that you didn't feel so claustrophobic in a helmet cause the like maker of the company didn't like how close helmets were. So this is intentional. This is also intentional. How does, how, how does this work? Oh, bro. It just like drops down. Oh. <laughs> Heads up display, bro. I can be like, that's pretty neat. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can turn it on. All right, hold on. Gotta take it off. I do like the chin strap. Super easy to take on and off. All right. Hello? Is anybody on? No? Oh, wait. A light's on. Can you guys see that light? It's on. Hello, camera. Interesting. So strange. So, this thing looks adjustable. We will find out. Oh, it's making noise. It's making noise. I need it on. Ah. Wait, the screen. It was on. Wait, I can see things now. Regulatory. Can oh, It's on. Yay. It has battery. Who would have thought? Okay. All right. So this is how I adjust it. Oh boy. Which is, so this is interesting. Now I'm not on the motorcycle, so I would have to adjust this, but I, I, I gotta be honest. That's pretty like out of my line of sight. Like I have to try to look at this. So if I'm looking at you guys, you know, if I'm riding and I'm just going, I would have to literally look up to see that. Hold on. Can I see you guys? I can't. Bo, come over here and test something. Hold on. You come over here and hold a finger up. That's un uncalled for. Uh, give me a amount of fingers up. Three? Yes, bro. Hold on. This is pretty neat. You want to try it out? Sure. So you turn that way. Okay, so now I'm going to hold up a number of fingers and you have to tell me how many. Are you ready? Nailed it! Nice! I do really like it being up top, not uh, down here in the corner. Granted, like you would think as a motorcyclist, you're always like, you're used to looking down in your corners, but I don't know. Hold on, let me put it back on. Let me get, let me continue my experience here. See, I would rather have my field of view here and not have to look down here because I don't like this being obstructed. All right, so now let's, we have to do the, their whole claim is like 360 viewing. So I should be able to see in 360 here. So my hands, I can see, I can see, I can't see this hand anymore. I can't see this hand anymore. Oh, I can see my shoulder. What? <laughs> you, dude, I can see my shoulder right here. <laughs> That's, I can see both my hands. I look like I'm going... Okay, I'm gonna stop playing with this. I don't feel like this is as heavy as I might have expected it to be. This is where I feel the majority of the weight, which makes sense because I can feel this little camera module in the back. So this little panel is like touch sensitive. So I can, this battery is actually full. So typically in an unboxing guides, we're not, we don't typically go for the rides, but I do just want to go for a quick ride today and I don't think it's raining yet. So I'm going to go for a quick ride on it and give you guys just an initial impressions. We don't do reviews from the get go. Uh, that doesn't make sense. It's not fair to you guys for us to try to do a review on our first experience with something. So let's go jump on the bike. Um, we'll see what this feels like on the road. We'll come back, do a couple initial, initial, uh, thoughts, and then we'll go from there. So let's go jump on the bike.
initial first impressions, uh, definitely I 100% I need the right pads before I do a full review of this thing. Didn't notice the weight while riding. This visor, it darkens when I'm outside. Or maybe it's just dark now. I can't tell. It looked like it was darkening. The brightness of the screen, I wish was, uh, it was, I could see, and it did a pretty good job of uh, adjusting exposure because, you know, we went through some really bright areas, went through our little floop de loop, and uh, there's some dark treed areas. When you're looking at just the sky, it is a little hard to see. You have to kind of look around and find a dimmer spot. I imagine when I put the, um, smoked shield on that will help out a lot because it'll darken up the entire environment we'll handle that on the uh actual review though so right now the only thing that kind of got to me was the visor it doesn't seem to have like a lip you know you you have a lip on a regular visor it doesn't have a lip so to open the visor, you literally have to just like put your fingers on your face and push it up. So I wasn't really a big fan of that. Like you literally, like that's how you open the visor. I don't really love that, but I do want to spend some more time with it while holding it. You can feel how much heavier it is in the back, which is interesting because it didn't feel like that when we were going. So that'll, that's something that we'll have to see uh, how everything goes. The one thing I did like is the feeling that my ears had inside of these little cups. I. I'm really here for that. So that is something I'm gonna be looking for in the full review as well. Uh, as far as the quality of the camera, it seemed pretty solid. Obviously, I'll keep an eye on that moving forward. First impressions, that's that's pretty cool. You cannot close or open these events. Oh, that's another thing. There is a lot of airflow in the helmet, but not a lot of airflow to your face. I felt a lot of airflow like down here and in my mouth area but I didn't really get any airflow up here. And if you look around, there's no real vents up top other than these. So I'm not really sure how they're doing their venting of the helmet, but that's all stuff we can really dig into in the full review, guys. So if you guys are interested in the cross helmet for unboxings, the way we do it, make sure to hit that like button to let us know that you guys were wanting a full review. If enough of you guys want a full review from us, we will gladly like spend the time and really dig into this thing and see what we feel about it. Initial responses, I, I, I think this thing is pretty neat. I think it needs the right padding so it fits a little large. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully you guys are here for this cross helmet uh, in iron silver. This is the X1 from what I can understand from here. So pretty neat. Love having a rear view camera. That's awesome. So. We'll see how it is in the front of you guys. Let us know if you want to see it uh, by hitting that like button. And let us know in the comments, is this something you guys are here for? You got, how do you guys feel about smart helmets? I'm techie. I love smart helmets, but I don't know how many of you guys are. So anyway, guys, I'm going to burn to death if I don't take this jacket off. I'm Chase on Two Wheels. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I appreciate you riding around with me. We'll see you on the next one. Make sure to hit the subscribe button if you like motorcycle content. We make a ton of it here. Isn't that right, Bo? We make a lot of motorcycle videos. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, we'll see you guys on the next one. Later. Outro crew. What do you guys think about the look of this thing? You've got these cool little lights on the side. It's an interesting helmet. That is that is all I will give you now. <laughs> make sure to put OC in your comments down below, guys. That's how I know y'all are in the outro crew. And we love you guys longer. All right. We're out of here. Cross helmet. Unboxing, baby. Ow. Boom. Done.